So I'm standing here with the Vernig rock bucket and it served us pretty well. Dad's got it all cleaned off. We've decided, unfortunately, that as useful as the rock bucket is, that we needed something with a little bit more potential. So therefore, Chad is on his way from Carl F. Stotts and Sons with a, another rock bucket with grapples on it. So he's probably gonna be pulling in behind me any moment now, but um, he's gonna be taking this back and he's gonna be dropping off the uh, other rock bucket with the grapples, mostly because we saw the potential for what we could use the grapples for, such as clearing brush and grabbing onto manure. Because with this, it's really nice for picking up manure, but uh, the only thing is that the manure catches in the teeth, which is perfectly fine, but the grapple on there the grapples will give us a little bit more versatility in what we can use it for. Um, even just to keep the, the manure from falling out, I think. So, therefore, that's why Chad's bringing a new one. And uh, he should be here any moment now. Wait a second. Where are you going? <laughs> Somebody missed the driveway. <laughs> Yeah, um, a lot of people have said that, that they've almost missed the place because we took out the trees in the front yard. So, whoops, here it comes. I don't remember asking for another mower. Chad said that he had to go pick this one up and he said that he would drop off the new bucket on his way. Yep. Yeah. That tree throws me off. <laughs> I told you. I even said that. I'm like, people have said that that tree tends to throw them off. It does. Man, there are some meaty hooks. Jeez. That ought to get her done, shouldn't it? Mm-hmm. I missed that tree, man. I come up over around the corner and I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Yeah. I've seen better days than them, so. But it's somebody's prized possession. I got all clear all the way to Iowa City tonight. <laughs> so I had to go to Mid States, John Deere, to pick it up this morning. <laughs> Just been all around the world today. <laughs> well, yeah, that's my big excursion for the day. Mm -hmm. Did they buy it on auction or was it yeah. just okay? Yeah, it was on auction. I don't know how we got in the middle of this deal, <laughs> but somehow my service manager is like, Oh, you live close to Jamesville. Yeah. Can you go pick this up? Okay. Huh. Guess we're making the trek to Ag Leader. What the hell? We'll get paid for half of the road trip. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, might as well. So 72. Yep. Yep, the only thing we added is the grapple part. But I see that it's welded, like the supports are welded right on, so you probably couldn't just attach the grapples, no. can you?
again. You said you got this from Mid State? Chad just dropped off this other Vernig rock bucket with the grapples. Those things look beefy. Dad and I have to go pick Travis up from Platteville, unfortunately, so we can't get into trouble with this thing today, but keep, stay stay in touch for any future happenings as far as using that new grapple bucket. So I'm looking forward to using it. And uh, Chad had that uh, bush hog on the back of his trailer too that uh, they picked up from a John Deere dealer because someone online had bought it and I guess they called him up to see if he could haul it. So he loaded it on there and he's taking it down somewhere in Iowa. And he dropped this off, off on his way. So, anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to using this thing, but unfortunately, we can't get into any trouble with it tonight. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All how farms work. And I'll see you next time.